In this video, we will learn about a new component. It's called slider. Many of you already know that in many applications, slider is used basically to uh, insert the age of the user. User can slide the uh, criteria to fill up the age or the location, distance. Uh, the pricing or uh, if you need to set the minimum and maximum price then you can set the price uh, using the uh, slider component the slider component from react is deprecated long time ago so we will uh, be installing the slider component from react native community so first of all create a react native project and open it on visual studio code and i already opened the ios simulator if you are using windows machine you can also use android emulator it works fine with both the platform so first of all open your terminal and you need to add this line of code yarn add at the react native community slash slider so I already installed it so when you press enter it will take few seconds to install this slider and you are good to go then so in order to use this slider you first of all need to import it slider from react native community slider you cannot uh, import it from react native because it's deprecated so first of all let's create a state called range so the range is set according uh, uh, according to the slider that we map to set range by default let's say it will be zero now slider it's a self closing element now we provide style let's provide with first of all let's say 300 for this example and height will be let's say 50 let me just save this okay so here we are as you can see this is our slider you can slide it but you are you uh, you are not seeing any values because we have not mapped it to the range state that we have created here so first of all let us create a text and here will be displaying our range let's provide some style to it let's a font size 40 font weight let's say bold okay, let me just save this as you can see now here on value change is the function every far here we got the value and the value that we got uh, from the slider we set it to the range let me just save this and let us see if it works as you can see it works fine the minimum value is zero the maximum value is one we can also provide the minimum and maximum value over here minimum value let's say will be zero maximum value will be one now here let's uh, give it math dot flow into 100 
as you can see now we are getting the numbers perfectly the minimum value is 0 middle value is 50 the last value is 100 you can also provide minimum value to 0 and maximum value to 100 then you don't need to do this so it depends on the application that you are creating if you are creating it for distance you may use this as a kilometers or if you are using this as a price then rupees dollars currency etc you can also provide thumb paint color let's say red as you can see the thumb color is changed now let me change it to yellow let's provide margin okay so let us map these uh, value to some style properties let me create here let me create a text let's say visible copy the same style okay so now we provide opacity and the value will be range we are save this as you can see when it is when it's zero the opacity is zero so it's not visible at all as we increase the number the opacity will go to the one because the maximum value over here is one and 50 it's half visible and it's at one it's full visible so this is how you can map this slider uh, to any of the style properties and uh, sizing properties you, could, you can use this with transform you can also use this with animations so that's it for this video this is how basically you implement slider uh, in your react native project so thanks for watching